Hi. <laughs> Sorry for the hiatus. Um, it was spring break last week, so I wanted to take some time off and relax a little bit. So, sorry for no audios an entire week. I know that was probably torture for my lovelies. But hey, I'm back in the swing of things, and I'm going to start uploading audios in my regular schedule. Meaning that if you are a Patreon member, you will be able to vote on a poll this Thursday for whatever Friday's audio can end up being. Which transitions me to... I have a Patreon. It's in the description. Check it out if you want. I have a bunch of exclusive audios over there for bedrooms only. If that interests you, take a look. But if not, that is completely okay. Now, enough of me freaking babbling about whatever. And enjoy the audio. She's showing a home right now. Well, it has only been three minutes. Three really, really long minutes. Three minutes isn't much time. Feels like it though. Four minutes. I'm obsessing. I'm obsessing. I'm, be I'm being too crazy. It's just... Mm. After five months, I just want to see my baby. I just want to see her. After five months, I can wait a little longer. I can wait a little longer. But like, what if her car broke down? Or like, what if she's like stranded on the side of the road? She's trying to call me, but her phone's dead. Now, this morning she told me three times that her phone was at 100%. She made sure of that. So we're fine. She would call me. She would text me. Something. She wouldn't just leave me out. always go pick her up or just something like that was happening. Unless she got into an accident. She's like unconscious. Oh no 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 I'm getting in my head. I'm getting in my head. She texted me like twenty minutes ago. She's fine. She is fine. She's fine. Six minutes. of me missing her more than I've missed freaking anyone. Like, literally anyone. <sighs> I love this woman. I just want to hold her. I don't want her to hold me. I don't want to be in her arms. I don't want to nuzzle into her chest. Mm, I want to cuddle her. The bed has been so lonely. God. The pillows are nice, admittedly. God, I have missed her. I have missed her warmth. I have missed holding her at night. Giving her little kisses when I wake up before she does because her sweet little cute sleeping face is just so precious. And I need to. I need to kiss that sleeping face. I need to kiss that sleeping face again. It's a need. It is not a want. It is a need. I need to sustain my life force. I must. I must do this. Oh, I missed you. 
I missed you. Hi. I missed this. I missed feeling you in my arms. I missed holding you. Hi. I'm not squeezing too tight, am I? Wait, sorry. <laughs> I, I wasn't. Was I squeezing? Was I squeezing too tight? I wasn't. Okay. Okay, just checking. <laughs> You know how excited I get. Mm. Oh, I missed you. I missed you so much. I missed you. Oh, it's so nice to have you back in my arms. It's so nice. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you so much. You okay, baby? How's the trip back? Okay. No troubles? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I may have started worrying a little bit. <laughs> I got into my own head a small bit. Yeah, I was going back and forth saying that what if she had a crash and what if her phone died and then I was like, no, she told me her phone was at 100 but then I was like, but what if she's in a coma? Oh no. <laughs> I guess st I stress myself out. You know how I do that. I just missed you. I was so excited. I woke up today pumped as frick. <laughs> Because I knew that today was the day you were coming back. You were coming home. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. Five months without my baby. Without my baby in my arms. Oh, it was torture. <laughs> it was agony. It was quite terrible. I... I hated it. <laughs> okay, it wasn't awful. <laughs> and I know we called every night, but still, I missed you. The bed felt so empty. I know I have the pillows, and I know they're fluffy. And I know they're soft. And not as fluffy and soft as you. And <laughs> my sweet girl. Mm, but not my sweet little baby. <laughs> Nothing could ever replace my little cutie. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Frickin' nothing. <laughs> oh, you are irreplaceable. Completely and fully. <sighs> Never told you I missed you. Look, you're just checking. Because <laughs> I want to make that point clear. As clear as possible, because it's true. Frickin' missed you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I missed you so much. I missed my cutie so much. Hmm. Was it a fruitful adventure, though? Yeah? That's good. I'm glad. I'm very, very glad. Yeah, the five months was an all bleak, you know. You are the light of my life, and I love you to bits, and you give life so much meaning because I adore freaking every little aspect about you but you know I I wasn't totally without light you know I got stuff done mm -hmm. yeah I got stuff done yeah I um I messed around a blender a little bit not too much but you know I have a, I have a very I'm talking very rough idea of how to freaking use that thing it's still terrifying <laughs> it's still very very terrifying um I downloaded Godot I never used it, though. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. I want to fiddle with game stuff. I don't know, it might be fun. 
Yeah, I've, I've seen stuff about Godot. Seems like a very intuitive game-making software. I hope so. And yeah, it's free, so you know, who can complain about that? <laughs> yeah. I've also uh, been brainstorming a few game ideas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I got some good ones. No, no, I'm not ready to tell you about them yet. You know how I like going on rants, and none of them are rant worthy yet. I'm still developing them. Yeah. <laughs> um, over the five months, I uh, I got fixated on Subnautica again. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I actually, um, you know, I I've never actually beaten Subnautica myself. Yeah. Um, the reason I didn't is because, well, you know, I only have a Switch, so I can only play it on the Switch. So that sucks, but <laughs> yeah, they kind of hella compress it when it's on the Switch. But yeah, like back when it first came out on the Switch, very uh, unstable. It would crash a lot, and it had a lot of bugs. But uh, I mean, not a, not a lot, a lot. Every now and again, it, it, the crashes were rare, but when it happened, they would always upset you because for whatever reason, uh, Subnautica doesn't know what autosave is. <laughs> that neither games do, which is weird, but you know, whatever. Freaking whatever. But yeah, the reason I never beated it. Beated it? What the frick does beated it mean? Beated it. It's like a moment where I'm. Hey, you are beated it. Beated it. I can see that being a bar. I can see it. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Right, okay. So the reason I never beat Subnautica. Um, I said it again. <laughs> beated it. <laughs> I'll put that in the Oxford Dictionary, I don't care. Anyway, um, was because uh, in the original version, I didn't make a Cyclops, I only made a prawn suit. So I was like adventuring down into the lava zone and the primary containment facility. And I used the teleporter to get back down there. And I had like everything in this prawn suit, right? And I got stuck. Like, it teleported me like out of bounds above the, the Sea Emperor's containment thing. And I was stuck. And there was nothing I could do to get out, except there was a bit of lava sticking out, and I had to die. And I hadn't saved, and I was going to lose my prawn. I would never be able to get it back, and I had, like, everything in there. My inventory was full, and I was like, I got so depressed that I just didn't play again. I just didn't play again. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I just never beat Sonata myself. I never did. But, but, I will say, over the weekend, no. Not weekend. <laughs> it's a bit more than a weekend. But, um, yeah, over the course of a bit, like about the last month or so, um, I booted up a hardcore playthrough. I know, fancy. And I actually beat it in a hardcore playthrough. I didn't die once. Which, like, you know, after, like, the first 30 to hour of gameplay, it's hard to die. But still, being around Reapers is still... Mucho scarito. <laughs> That's not Spanish, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, mucho scary. <laughs> we'll go with that. Yeah, it was very, very scary. It honestly heightened the fear a lot. I was very scared. Like anytime I was around a reaper, my stomach like got I I got filled I got the heebie jeebies. Because I was just like, if they destroy my sea moth and then try to get me, I'm so screwed. I'm so freaking screwed. But yeah, uh, that was very fun, and it was very wonderful to enjoy that game. I actually made a Cyclops this playthrough, and I gotta admit, it's got a lot more use than I gave it credit for. Yeah, I never made it because I was like, it's too clunky, but honestly, like, it's really nice. And uh, the second I made it, I felt so proud. I named it Big Steve. <laughs> Big Steve, I was so proud of Big Steve. He was so freaking awesome. He looks so cool. He looks so freaking cool. I loved him. I loved Big Steve. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, I beat it. I started playing Blow Zero again. And you know what? I will say, I think the original is substantially better than Below Zero. But Below Zero's got some good stuff in it. It's got some it's got some good stuff. It does. It really does. But um Yeah, it's definitely not nearly as scary as um Subnautica. And you know what? The the underwater portion of the map, you know, the the part that I actually care about is so much smaller than I ever realized because like they've spent so much real estate with like the glacier exploration what and whatnot 
but like there aren't many but like honestly the dunes alone from the original game are like they take up like half the real estate of mo of a lot of the underwater map so no wonder there's only like four chalicerates or chalicerates however you say it because there just isn't much room to put many more and it's so weird it really is it's so weird but eh, you know whatever yeah, I, I don't think the design philosophy for that game really was great, but, you know, Sonatica 2 is being made, and I think they're calling it Sonatica 2 because they see Sonatica Below Zero as more of a experiment, you know, so, that's exciting. I watched an interview, actually, with Obraxis, uh, if you don't know, Obraxis is uh, one of the lead devs of Sonatica Below Zero and Sonatica 2. And all the stuff he said got me really, 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 really excited. <laughs> I got so hyped. <laughs> I'm so excited for Sonatica 2. I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to be. It's actually going to be multiplayer. I know. That's so cool. I'm so excited to actually like, play that with you. I freaking love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, I adore it. I adore it. I adore it. I freaking adore it. <laughs> yeah, so I got on that little kick. It was very fun. And, you know, I just, I just thought of you. You know, I still want to play some Naka with you sometime. Because, you know, I know you don't play video games that much, but it's such... Uh, you've heard me rant about this game. I love the original Sonatica so much. It's like one of my favorite games. It's so amazing. It's a survival game. And, like, you know, in terms of, like, the basic survival formula, Terraria is my favorite survival game, but, like, so now it feels unfair to put that put it in that category because it's just such an experience. It's such an incredible experience. And I adore it. I adore that game so much. I love Subnautica. It's such an incredible game. It's scary as crap too. <laughs> and I love that it's scary. It's so it's like, oh man, it's so much scarier than most like horror games. It's crazy. But it's genuinely like, oh my god. It's so scary, but I love it. Which is weird, because I normally don't like horror games. The only horror games I like are Subnautica, Inscription, and FNAF. <laughs> but FNAF's a different story, because FNAF doesn't really scare me. You know, it's not... I, I think most people can agree Five Nights at Freddy's is not too scary at this point. A lot of people have gotten used to, like, oh, game isn't that scary. <laughs> they can be, like, kind of stressful at times, and, like, yeah... Like especially 4. I think 4 is the scariest of the bunch. But still, I don't think they're that scary. They're fun, though. I like them. Though I understand why a lot of people don't jive with them. Makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I went in a rant. <laughs> I know, but you enjoy my rants. So, you're freaking welcome. <laughs> Consider that you're welcome, that gift. <laughs> I mean, I did make you dinner. So, that's probably your actual welcome, that gift. Yeah, I made you dinner. Of course I did. What do you mean? You traveled several thousand miles. I just doubt you have eaten. Knowing you, you probably skipped a few meals because you're like, I'll be fine. You know, I'll be fine. Baby, I made you freaking bomb dinner. You want to know what this dinner contains? Yeah. I'm talking smash burgers. Oh, yeah. Smash burgers with butter buns. Mm-hmm. Mm, freaking smash burgers. Butter buns. Oh, yeah. I made a lot of them. And for dessert. You know what I mean? For dessert. Banana pudding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> I made it just like the way you like it. Nilla wafers and everything. Oh, yeah. There's several layers of Nilla wafers. Several. <laughs> yeah, let's freaking pick out, babe. <laughs> uh, I missed you. I missed you so much. I missed. I know we talked a lot on the phone, but it's so different in person. It's so much better in person. It really is. It's so much better. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I missed you. 
Oh, no, no. Where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. I'm not making you use those legs to go to the kitchen. Uh-uh. Come here. Uh, that's right. You're getting carried. Because you deserve it, my princess. <laughs> my princess deserves to be carried. And everywhere she goes. I just don't have the stamina to do that. <laughs> All right. Let us dine together, my love. <laughs> Mwah.